welcome back. For those of you that are keeping score, we are on item number four from the Safe Haven Five. By now you should be asking yourself, how am I gonna clean these magical cloths that you keep telling us about? Laundry detergent. So you also, side note, if you now have a wish list that's bigger than your budget, because every time we show you something, you're like, ooh, I need that, I need that, I need that. You have two options. One, you could host a party. That's gonna help your host because she'll get free stuff and you'll get free stuff. Or two, you can join Norwex and get 35% discount and 35% commission. Talk to me, I'll hook you up, okay? Now, let's talk about the laundry detergent. When you're going to clean our microfiber cloths, anything from Norwex, you want to make sure that you use detergent that does not have fillers, fabric softener, or bleach, okay? Because all of those things are going to compromise the microfiber. And remember, we need that microfiber because that is what is helping us mechanically clean, right? So we don't want to get those all clogged up in any way. So you're going to wash and dry them with other laundry as long as that laundry is not linty, okay? But um, you're wanting to use detergent that doesn't have fillers, bleach, and fabric softeners. So think back to when you had a baby and think um, of the detergents that you used for the baby's skin to be safe for the baby's skin. And then like it's, uh, theft. Like theft rhymes with theft, yeah. right? Okay, so um, at some point, like when the baby was, I don't know, three or six months old, you were like, yeah. Yeah, who cares? Who cares about the baby's skin? That stuff's expensive. And so you move along. I'm not really sure why we make that choice, but we do. So um, then you move on to detergents that aren't quite as safe. For instance, there is a detergent called Spain. Hmm. It's not, it's called something else. Four letters rhymes with Spain. Okay? Maybe pain would be better. Yeah, true. It smells like uh, meadows or whatever, it's spring meadows. Guess how many uh, chemicals are in that just to make the smell for that detergent? How many? 138. Holy cow. 138 chemicals just to make that smell. Hmm. So how long does it take for a chemical to get into your skin, your bloodstream, and then straight to your organs? Mm, probably 30 minutes. 26 seconds. What? Yeah, you're no good at this game. Okay, so when we use those chemicals, remember there are chemicals tied to uh, cancer, obesity, thyroid problems. All of those things are tied into chemicals that we keep using in our homes, all right? So let's pause for a second, take a breath, take a step back and think, how can we start making that stuff better? All right. So it is to use different things in our home without all of those harsh chemicals. So let's talk about the detergent first. So this is what one of the name brand pods looks like. It rhymes with wide. Mm. Okay. Um, so check this out. This is not ever going to clear up, I feel. This has been in here about... 10 months. Mm -hmm, about 10 months. Yeah, it's pretty murky. You can't see through that. This is a waxy situation going yeah, on. Yeah, so is that why my jeans would feel kind of stiff? Yes. Yeah, now yes. I know. That's why they feel stiff. Okay, uh, this guy right here is a brand name powder detergent, also not ever going to dissolve. Do you guys see that at the bottom of that? Yeah, it's gross. This is what's coating your clothes, your kids' clothes. Sensitive skin, eczema, psoriasis, any of that getting better? Type of that stuff not getting better guys this is not good news for us right. now here is what your detergent should look like look at that can you see me mm -hmm. of course you can now let me pause for a second some of you use a detergent and it's called free and smear mm, no i don't think so i mean it's close close to okay okay well if you look on the front it's free and clear of um dyes mm. and um that's not exactly all that we need it to be free and clear of, right? So this is what you want it to look like. That's a good step, right? So this is the Norwex laundry detergent. Now, because it doesn't have fillers in it and fabric softeners and bleach, you don't need very much. You get to use a concentrated amount. This is gonna blow you away, so hold tight. When you get your bag of laundry detergent, you can open it up and there'll be a scooper in there. This is the scooper, and that's okay. pretty small. Yeah, it's small, it's perfect. Yeah, you don't need that. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it's because our company is a global company. They need to make directions that are going to work for everywhere in the entire world. America has a very good water system, so we need even less than they need at other places in the world. When you use our laundry detergent, you need only a half a teaspoon of laundry detergent to do a whole load of laundry. 
that's hard to process. I'll give you a minute later. We don't have a minute right now, but you can process it later. This little guy right here, 10 loads of laundry. Mm, I know it's hard. I'll give you, I'll give you some time to process. That paradigm later. shift. It really is a paradigm shift and it's hard to process, but it is true. Well, okay? we're super size. We're so used to supersizing everything. Supersize so it, it just makes super sense. Supersize the fries. Now when you go to McDonald's, you can get a basket of fries. Yeah. It makes sense to throw a, a pot basket. in your washer that's the size of your fist. I mean, yeah. So, okay. You don't makes need sense. It. You don't Half need Half a teaspoon. Okay. That's all you need to get your, your clothes <clears> clean. That means that this bag of laundry detergent will last a family of four about six months. It will do 300 to 400 loads of laundry. That's mm, a lot of laundry. That's a lot of laundry. Okay. Um, the two deadliest items that we have in our home are uh, vomit. Okay, I'm talking about cleaning items. So it does, it's not really vomit, but it rhymes with vomit and we use it to clean stuff. How about bromit? Bromit. Okay. That's, That's right. Okay. Disgusting. And uh, dryer sheets. Dryer sheets are so, so bad. Think about this for a second. When you get a dryer sheet out of the box, it's very waxy, right? Yes, I've you used it, it to clean the mosquitoes off of the front of my right. truck. Yeah, you don't need that for to do that anymore. Well, no, use but I used to, right. But um, if you put a dryer sheet into the dryer, when you get the dryer sheet out of the dryer, is it waxy anymore? No, ma'am. Oh, it's super soft. Where'd, Where'd that, that go? wax go? That's a good question. Hmm. All right, we'll move on. Okay, so um, that's an amazing thing about our detergent. All right, now we have a powder and liquid laundry detergent. Which one do you like? I like the powder, let me show you why. Okay. I'm gonna bring you over here to my pantry. This is my real life pantry, so don't judge. Um, okay, so remember I keep telling you that you need to hang up your uh, Norwex cloths, right? So if Joey ever comes in the house and he's like- Don't do it. Hey honey, which cloth do I need? Stop Here's my... doing that. Okay, so- um, he knows exactly which one is which because I have them labeled here. That actually is very helpful. It is helpful. Now, when you get any cleaners from Norwex, because sometimes you need some cleaners that'll give a little bit of extra oomph. So when you get them, they come in bottles about this size, okay? But they're so concentrated that you actually dilute them into water and it'll make, you know, 12 to 15 bottles like this. It'll last you a very long time. But degreaser, bathroom cleaner, ah, laundry detergent. Is that what that says? Sure it's, just, it's my label maker. I love my label uh -huh. maker. Okay, I use this as my multi-purpose cleaner. Well, all the time mm -hmm. for multi-purposes. So I'm talking dog vomit on the carpet. What I'm are you hung up with well, the vomit I for? I mean, that's I have to, somebody texted me earlier. How do you get vomit off of the carpet? Oh, okay. Okay, so I guess that's what. So this is what I use actually. I put just a little bit of laundry detergent in here with water and that's it. I use it to pre-treat stains on my clothes. I use it if I have water stains on my fridge, my stainless steel fridge. I use it if there's just gunk that I feel like I need to spray something on, this is what I go to. It's not toxic. I don't have to spray it and then leave the room for a little while and then come back. <laughs> so you can breathe? I can breathe, okay? Right. And I, when I put it on my floor or on my fridge, I don't have to worry about baby's hands touching it. If, if my dog licks the refrigerator, I'm not worried. There's nothing on there that's toxic, okay? So, um, what love if I that. like the refrigerator? That would be weird. I okay. would have to send you All somewhere. Right. Move okay, on. Um, so that is my multi-purpose cleaner and I use it all the time. I also have some detergent here right by my sink. Labeled also. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But I made Joey uh, drill me some holes in here so that whenever I wanna clean something real quick, I'll just sprinkle this into the sink. And um, I use this all the time just to clean stuff off real quick. If I'm in between washing, cause remember you only need to wash your Norwex about every couple weeks. But if I feel like, oh, I think I probably wanna like if I had a ton of peanut butter on it, I probably would rinse it out, maybe sprinkle a little bit of so on, you know, just to make sure that in my mind, I know that it's yeah. ready to go. Yeah. So uh, that's what I have. So the laundry detergent is amazing. I love it. You will love it. You'll be amazed. That's item number four. Woo.